more to say by Heather Davis. Introduction. Pip Clover is an odd little boy. There's not much else to say. A dark, ominous cloud seems to watch him. Part 1. Pip Fates. Pip is American. He was born with a British accent. His peers make fun of him. Please do not laugh at him, dear reader. Pip stumbled out of bed. I feel very queer, he, th he thought. He stumbled to breakfast. Urgh, he moaned. Are you feeling unwell, dear? Pip's mom. Hey, he's always feeling unwell. Pip's annoying sister, Betty. Urgh, Pip was in bed eating biscuits. Sorry, I feel the need to give you this small dictionary. British words. Biscuits. Cookies. Lori is a small truck. Mom is mom. Football is soccer. And mate is friend. Okay, so Pip was in bed eating biscuits. This was quite enjoyable until he saw, started to become very hot and dizzy. Everything blurred, then it was black. Hello. Ah! Best screamed Pip. Sweat was running down his face. There was a giant eyeball. It said hello. Um, no, Pip. A giant was staring over him. Ah! He said and fainted again. Part two. The light. Dot, dot, dot. Asterix. Asterix soon. <laughs> Pip was lying in bed. His, his classmates were staring down at him. Is he going to be okay? Asked Stella. Yes, but he does have pneumonia. <laughs> I never should have stood in the rain. One week earlier. Pip was standing in the rain, waiting for the glowing yellow light of the school bus. His mom was calling for him, but he couldn't hear her over the pattering rain. Waiting. I'm going to stop using this symbol for a spacer and start using this. Pip sneezed violently. The doctor said he needed some rest um, and so his classmates left. left. Pip sneezed again. He was very sleepy. Part 3. The Real Light. Sometime later, Pip was recovering, but he still needed to stay in bed. One night, he went on, on the porch. There was that yellow light. Yeah, pointing out to sea, there was Stella, her green eyes glowing in the moonlight. Pip wanted to reach out, to touch her, to fulfill the passion burning in his heart. She wore an emerald around her neck, uh, which glittered and shined a great deal. Suddenly, the pendant uh, started dragging her into the woods. Uh, Stella card called for help. Uh, Pip ran after her. His choice came to an end. And when Stella's pendant dragged her into a cave, inside the cave was a portal of many colors. Uh...